today we're going to cover the online map. This uh, this guide is going to be specifically timed because uh, the online map just reset. So clanners are all back in their respective places, although they're working their way into the inner sphere already. The inner sphere is divided as it starts. Today we're going to cover how the online map works and uh, the the rules as per the wiki of uh, how to participate in the online map. So the most basic part of the online map is the territory control. So if we go to a planet on the borders, say here between Free World League and Steiner, we'll see that in this particular planet the active factions are local government, the Free World's League, and Steiner. So the Lyran Commonwealth is adjacent, whereas if you go to one of the inner systems, well that one's bordering Comstar, uh, here we go. So one of the inner systems you'll see only the Planetary Government and the Free Worlds League. So those planets you can't really conquer. Um, but as far as the planet goes, First, if you want to affect the online map, you have to go into Reputation. You have to ally yourself. For example, in this playthrough, I'm allied to the Free Worlds League. And then once you are allied, you can go to a planet. For example, one of the border planets. And every mission as an allied uh, mercenary unit to whatever faction every mission you do builds the control. You see here current control Free Worlds League 100%. Now this can go over 100% so you can bolster the defenses of a planet or if there's let me see if there's one that has huh and the map must have just reset. Here we go. So, in this particular planet, you'll see the Lyran Commonwealth has a control of 45%, and the Greater Valkyrie has a control of 55%. It also shows, I believe that's how many companies currently in that system that are allied with that particular faction. In any case, if you're allied with the faction, doing missions for that faction builds their control. And once the control, I believe, reaches 100%, then you conquer the planet. And if you're doing missions on a planet that your faction already controls, then it will go above 100% to indicate that it's harder to take. So with that, um, I, think, I think that's everything. Uh, ally with a faction, go to a system that's neighboring other systems, and fight. Oh, right, also, uh, whenever you are allied with a faction, there should be some in here. Okay. Oh yes, there we go. Uh, priority missions are include travel to a contested planet and start missions to try to take control of that planet. So if I were to accept one of these priority missions, I would fly to either Merrick or Sava and start doing missions to try to gain control of that planet away from, I assume Steiner, based on based on where the Free Worlds League and Steiner are fighting. But um, you you take a priority mission, it brings you to whatever planet that's currently being fought over, and you attempt to take over the planet for your faction. So that's how that works. Now then, here the in the Rogue Tech Wiki, if you go to, I believe it's the Rogue War, no, yeah, online experience brings you to this page. Uh, Galaxy map, I think, is what brought me to this. In any case, <clears throat> so first you grind reputation up to 100, and then you ally yourself with faction. At that point, you take missions to try to capture systems. And here you go. You can continue to build control over 100% 
up to a maximum. I believe the maximum is 500% or something crazy like that. But, um, it's, uh, yeah, so you can continue to build control over 100% up to a maximum, whatever the maximum. I, I want to say it's 500%, but I may be misremembering. Um, and yes, so uh, you must be allied to participate. If a system has any unclaimed influence, that'll be accrued first. And if the system does not have any fortification rules, you cannot gain influence than, more influence than your target has. So if you're taking missions against, say, Steiner, and Steiner has 55% influence, then you can only get 55 influence from Steiner. You'd have to fight against the other factions. If there's four factions over fighting over control, you have to take missions against the specific factions that have influence for you to take. Yeah, and then you have to have a neighboring system. So you can't just jump into the middle of Steiner territory and start trying to take over fa uh, systems. You have to start at the edge of Steiner control and then push your way in one jump point at a time. And then, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, the companies list shows how many companies are actively on each side of the uh, of the battle. So, the more the more companies there are fighting over a system, the more haywire it's going to be going back and forth. Here is the formula used. I'm not going to go through all of it, but. Uh, Basically, the harder missions you take, the more rep you can gain. And you can only gain as much rep as the faction you're fighting against has. Okay. So, this, again... Yeah, you can just go roguetech.org, how it works, apparently, and get right here. But uh, these are all the basics of how it works. And the more adjacent planets your faction has, the more control you can get, blah, blah. And then the harder the install options are, the more influence you get. And yeah. Here's an interesting one. Uh, you can receive bonuses or penalties for having allied or enemies factions on a system. So, all basically, the, the more people on one side there are, the easier it is for that side to capture the system. So, um, fortification. Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, apparently there is a minimum mission time and a debuff time, so you can't just spam super easy missions. Neat. So, then we get here to... This is kind of important if you're planning on taking part of the online map, because uh, you can be banned. So, don't be too worried about it. If you're just playing the game as intended, then you're fine, basically. Um... The, the short version is don't save scum, don't cheat. So, yeah. Uh, I, am, I am a little worried because it says using third-party programs, including Notepad, is cheating. And I'm using OBS to record. So I really hope I don't get banned for using OBS to record while playing on the online map. But eh, if I do, I'll burn that bridge when I come to it. Um, yeah, so don't cheat and play nice. Um, there are no excuses for cheating, apparently. There's, uh, zero tolerance, so yeah. If you, if you want to play on the online map, just don't save scum, don't use third-party programs or debug, and, uh, 
yeah, you should be fine. So all factions are at war with every other faction. And the systems offer contracts for the owner of the system, locals, and bordering factions. So even if your faction has 0% control, if there is a neighboring system that your faction controls, you can still gain control, gain influence in that system. Very straightforward. Doing contracts raises their percentage and lowers the percentage of whoever you're fighting against. Failed missions do not influence the system. Uh, faction with the most control owns... Okay, so it's just simple majority if you have more than 50% you own the faction I mean you own the system yeah if a faction is completely wiped out they can be resurrected by completing missions in their home system so just figure out what the home system is go there and start doing missions for them until they come back onto the map and then you can start capturing from there and uh, the priority contracts pay better give you better loot give you you know bring you to the systems that are currently being contested. Here we go. You can only send a finished mission to the server every 20 minutes. So if you are playing, like, if you have a five skull lance and you're playing half skull missions, then, uh, yeah, you're you're going to wipe them out in less than 20 minutes. And at that point, the server is going to be like, huh, that's interesting. And just kind of dismiss and then apparently posting a mission within that 20 minutes resets the timer. So play appropriate challenges for your lance. Don't just try to stomp on easy missions and try to get uh, grind control that way. Yeah, that's to do, do. Yeah, uh, you can still maximum is 300%. Okay, there we go. So 300% is the maximum. I knew it was something crazy like that. Um, and the way it works is whenever the game updates the map, it makes a request to the Rogue Tech server and updates your local map based on the current state of the war. After each mission, your computer sends the mission results to the server, and that calculates the new map. And uh, the only information from your computer that is sent to the map is your career ID. So, yeah. Server side, client side, very straightforward. And if you want to look at the state of the war, is it this one? No. No, this this is this is literally just a list of all the systems. Um, <laughs> who's winning? Oh wow! So apparently. The majority of the clans have been completely obliterated, and the Oregon Directorate is gone. Huh. Factions that have gained the most systems while defending their ancestral territory. So, Clan Diamond Shark is definitely stomping. Uh, Word of Blake is doing pretty good, and Comstar is doing pretty good. And then the factions that are losing the hardest are Kirita, Magistra Magistracy of Cannabis, and Castile. Yeah, so uh, Steiner usually does pretty well in the online map because several of the starts tend to drop you in Steiner space. So newer players generally fight on behalf of Steiner and ally with them because they're the first faction that they can ally with so that's why Steiner usually does well uh, usually one or two of the clans get picked by players that want to play for the clans and so usually one or two clans will start the invasion of the inner sphere and then the Kirita Steiner huh so Steiner has conquered the most systems, for, or second most systems for another faction, but has also lost the second most of their ancestral territory. So, Steiner, very active, uh, always is. The, the, first, the first online map just like got destroyed by Steiner, and Steiner was everywhere. So a lot of people that are, you know, playing the online map that have been playing since then like to put Steiner in its place. Um, but again, Steiner does have the advantage of 
several of the faction starts tend to, to drop you in Steiner space. So it's just through normal play of the game, you end up allied with Steiner. Um, is that what... No, I went to who is winning. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this means, active companies. Oh, in the last 20 minutes. So let's just look at the last day. Okay, Steiner has 30 companies. Davian has 30 companies that have played in the last day. Uh, Merrick has 4. Kirita has 11. Liao has 3. Diamond Shark has 16. Russell has 12. Word of Blake has 9. Etc. Etc. You can see. Uh, so if you want to ally yourself with one of the underdogs or one of the dominant factions, then you can go to roguetech.org/warstats, and yeah, it's just I don't remember when exactly the map refreshed. Uh, can I sort by active companies? No, I cannot. But yeah, you can see the clans in the last three days. Star Adder has one. Clan Jade Falcon has one. Uh, Clan Burak has seven. Clan Hell's Horses has 18. Clan Diamond Shark has 20. So if you want to join the clans to invade the Inner Sphere and you want the most impact, then you'd want to go with like Diamond Shark or Hell's Horses to try to help the companies that are already pushing. Uh, usually Clan Wolf does pretty well, but yeah, only six right now with Clan Wolf. So but yeah, you can find out all the information you need from roguetech.org slash whatever. Um, yeah, index. Um, career lookup, that's interesting. About black markets. That's something I've been curious about. Okay, so you can buy stuff from opposing factions, but at the cost of funding the enemies. When salvage from player is not selected, it gets sent to the faction's online shop that the player is allied with. When the faction's shop goes beyond its capacity, items are discarded at random until the shop is back within capacity. Discarded items are placed into that faction's black market for enemies of the faction to purchase. Interesting. So the shops are actually determined by player salvage. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. So yeah, it's always better to buy from your faction rather than from the black market. So special abilities for a faction activate whenever a specific level of funding. So buying stuff from your faction store actually strengthens your faction. It's cool. So sometimes going for money and buying stuff from your faction rather than just trying to salvage everything actually helps your faction in the long run. Huh. So there's different abilities for each faction. Cool. But yeah, if you want to read through these, then there's roguetech.org slash black markets. In any case, so the the basics again is just do missions for a faction, ally with that faction once you hit 100 rep, and then start fighting for control in systems that that faction is competing for. 
And uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers all the big stuff. That was your guide for today, and I'll see you next week.